For those of us who saw the movie Jaws too many times, encountering any shark while swimming in the ocean is something we'd like to avoid. But did you know that there are some sharks that would rather munch on plankton than on you? Some sharks that are so rare, you're unlikely to ever encounter one. Which is a shame because they are so fascinating. In this video, we'll show you 10 of the rarest sharks in the world, from a shark that's poisonous to one with the biggest mouth you've ever seen. To see more videos on rare and unique creatures, don't forget to subscribe to The Hub and press that gray bell to join our notification squad as well. Greenland Shark As its name implies, this prehistoric-looking predator lives in the waters surrounding Greenland and in other cold waters as well. In fact, it's the only truly subarctic shark in the world. This species of shark has an incredibly long lifespan, and it doesn't reach sexual maturity until they're about 150 years old. The oldest Greenland shark ever found was a female estimated to be 400 years old. The flesh of the Greenland shark is actually toxic to humans and contains high concentrations of poison. It can be eaten by treating it with a very specific process, and the resulting flesh is considered a delicacy in some places. These sharks are enormous and rival great whites in terms of size. They can grow up to 21 feet long and weigh over 2,200 pounds. While other sharks have a reputation for being fierce hunters, this shark is a scavenger. They've been known to gather around fishing boats in hopes of an easy meal. Especially considering their massive size, these sharks are extremely slow. Their fastest speed is 1.6 miles per hour, and they're often observed swimming at a leisurely 0.76 miles per hour. They have the lowest swim speed and tail beat frequency for its size across all fish species. This combined with their slow metabolism may explain why they live to such advanced ages. Megamouth Shark Don't feel bad if you've never heard of the Megamouth Shark. It's not disappointed in you, its mouth just naturally looks like it's frowning. In fact, it wasn't even discovered by anybody until 1976. They're so bizarre looking that it's easy to see why they earned the nickname the Alien Shark. These sharks are filter feeders and swim around with their mouths open, hoping for some delicious jellyfish and plankton to drift into them. They're one of three planktivorous sharks and are so unique looking that they're considered the sole member of the Megachasmid family. They're brownish black in color with white underbellies and have an asymmetrical tail with a long upper lobe. They're much slower and less active than other sharks and basically just drift around hoping that some food will end up in their mouths. Honestly, same. Their huge mouths are surrounded by luminous photophores, which scientists believe may act as a lure for plankton and small fish. As a result of their poor diets, their muscles are soft and their skeletons are poorly calcified. They have been spotted in equatorial regions of the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans, but since we've only found about 100 of them, we still aren't entirely sure what their exact habitat is. Basking Shark Along with the Megamouth Shark and the Whale Shark, the Basking Shark is the third planktivorous shark. After the Whale Shark, it's the second largest living fish and can reach lengths of 40 feet and weigh up to 21 tons. They're rarely seen by themselves and usually travel in pairs or schools. Some groups of basking sharks have been made of up to 100 sharks, and they typically swim in a single file line. Some tales of sea monsters may have actually been a line of gigantic basking sharks. In addition to enjoying the company of other sharks, they also seem to enjoy leaping completely out of the water, which is really impressive considering their size and the fact that they typically move quite slowly. Scientists aren't sure exactly why they jump out of the water, but they believe it could be a social behavior or an effort to shake off parasitic fish. Because they typically feed near the surface and aren't afraid of boats, they can easily get tangled in fishermen's nets. Unfortunately, this means that the basking sharks are now listed as a vulnerable species. When a basking shark begins to decompose, its exposed long neck and small skull can make it look like a prehistoric creature. This can cause a serious stir when one washes up on shore. Goblin Shark the appearance of the goblin shark is distinctive, to say the least. Its strange profile features an elongated, flattened snout and a protruding jaw containing large, nail-like teeth. Their bodies are flabby and their fins are small, making it unlikely that these are very fast swimmers. They're sometimes called a living fossil and can trace their lineage back 125 million years. At maturity, they're usually between 10 and 13 feet long, although some larger specimens have been found. They inhabit upper continental slopes, submarine canyons, and seamounts all over the world. 
The goblin shark hunts its prey near the seafloor and uses its snout to sense the minute electric fields produced by nearby creatures. Because it tends to move so slowly, it's thought that the goblin shark is an ambush feeder. When the shark gets close to its quarry, it uses its rapidly extending jaws to grab its prey. The Japanese name for this creature is tenguzame, which comes from the word tengu. A tengu is a creature from Japanese mythology that is often depicted with a long nose and a red face. Goblin shark is a rough translation of that original name, frilled shark. Another living fossil type of shark, the frilled shark can grow up to 6.6 .6 feet long and has a dark brown eel-like body. Its name comes from the frilly appearance of its six pairs of gills. It uses its elongated body to help capture prey, bending its body and lunging forward the way a snake would. Its long, flexible jaws allow it to swallow its prey whole. Despite its small size, its mouth is incredibly fearsome. It's lined with 25 rows of teeth, 300 teeth total. They're trident-shaped and face backwards, making it impossible for prey to escape once it's inside the mouth of a frilled shark. Their mouths are also lined with spines called dermal denticles, just to make them all the more terrifying. Because they are so rare and live so deep in the ocean, we unfortunately know little about them. In fact, while we had found them caught in fishing nets, it wasn't until 2005 that we actually had video of one swimming in its natural habitat. Scientists believe that their gestation period is as long as 42 months, nearly twice as long as elephants carry their young. Wobegong shark. There are 12 different species of Wobegong shark, ranging between 2.5 and 9.5 feet, but they do have one thing in common. They all blend in seamlessly with the seafloor making them incredibly difficult to spot. If you can manage to spot one on the seafloor, you'd need to look in shallow temperate and tropical waters. The name Wobigong is believed to originate from the Australian Aboriginal language and means shaggy beard. They're well camouflaged and utilize symmetrical and bold markings. Their shaggy beards are actually small weed-like whisker lobes surrounding their jaws which add to their camouflage and they act as sensory barbs. By blending in, these sharks have an easy time ambushing their prey. And instead of striking, they've been known to just open their mouths and suck up their dinner. Because they spend so much time on the seafloor, they breathe in a similar manner to the nurse shark. They use their strong cheek muscles to pump water through their mouths and over their gills. They've also been known to move by walking with their fins across the sand instead of swimming. They've even been known to climb rocks and coral, occasionally even partially emerging from the ocean. Sharpnose Seven Gill Shark. Well, the name of this shark is pretty self explanatory. Whereas most sharks have five pairs of gill slits, the Sharpnose Seven Gill Shark has seven. These sharks are generally under four feet in length, but even though they're small, they're ferocious. Unlike some of the other sharks on this list, these are voracious predators. They mainly feed on small fish, but will also happily make a meal out of smaller sharks, rays, squid, and shellfish. If you accidentally catch one while fishing, watch out. They are aggressive and will attempt to bite you. Their bodies are slender and cigar-shaped and tend to be brownish gray in color with their bellies being lighter than their backs. They have green eyes and narrow mouths. Each shark has just one small dorsal fin, which is set far back on its body. They're most active during nighttime and are incredibly strong swimmers. Despite this, they're often prey for larger shark species. The meat of the sharp-nosed seven-gill shark is known to be mildly poisonous, so humans aren't exactly lining up to eat them. In fact, they're much more likely to take a bite out of you than you are to take a bite out of them. Spear-toothed shark. The spear-toothed shark looks like a shark that had a rather unfortunate high-speed encounter with a wall. As you may have guessed from its name, they have rather unique teeth. The teeth in their upper jaw are large, triangular, and serrated, while their lower teeth are narrow and only serrated near the top. These rare sharks can be found in both saltwater and freshwater. They prefer fast-moving waters and drift along with a current in order to conserve energy. They're adept at hunting in near-total darkness and prey primarily on bony fish and crustaceans, which their spear-like teeth help them catch. Electroreceptors help them target their food, compensating for their rather small eyes. Scientists are working to better identify these sharks, since they are often confused with the more common bull shark. The spear tooth shark's teeth set it apart, but as researcher Dr. Richard Fillin so aptly put it, obviously when you're dealing with a live shark, it's probably not the best idea to try to use its teeth to get an ID on them. 
scientists were able to tag a male and female pair of spear-toothed sharks in Australia for the first time anywhere in the world in 2015. Needless to say, there is still a lot we don't know about these rare sharks. Angular Rough Shark In 1758, biologist Carl Linnaeus first described the angular rough shark. Over 200 years later in 1976, scientists made angular rough shark the official name for this species of shark. These sharks are very small. As babies, they're just under 10 inches long, and they mature at about 20 inches. Although the largest ever recorded was just under 5 feet long, most of them end up being less than 3 feet in length. The roughness of these sharks is due to the fact that they are covered in denticles. Denticles are rough, teeth-like scales that are found on many types of marine life. The scales don't grow, but rather more accumulate as the creature grows. This shark has a broad, rather flat head and two tall, sail-like dorsal fins. They also have incredibly large spiracles located just below their eyes. These spiracles are oval or crescent-shaped and allow water to be pumped through their gills while they're at rest. Angular rough sharks are generally found gliding along the seabed searching for crustaceans and mollusks, which they then suck up into their mouths. They can be found in both the eastern Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. Fishing boats that capture sharks by trawling the bottom of the ocean are a huge threat to these sharks, although sadly, there's no conservation effort put in place currently. Pajama Shark We aren't sure which name for this shark is better, the pajama shark or the striped cat shark. These bottom-dwelling sharks are nocturnal and spend their days lying motionless on the sea floor, often hidden in caves or among plants. Their heads are broad and flat and their blunt snouts are beset with two short nasal barbells. These barbells help the sharks detect their prey. Their dorsal fins are quite small, which indicate that these sharks aren't known for swimming at high speeds and tend to be rather sedentary. Like the angular rough shark, this is a small species of shark, rarely growing over three and a half feet long. They're frequently eaten by other larger sharks, and when threatened, they curl up into a ball with their tails covering their heads, which is not a terribly effective defense strategy when facing down a much larger shark. Pajama sharks are opportunistic predators and are known to target squid breeding grounds. Because of their small size, they're not considered a threat to humans, and some people even target them when fishing. If you're looking to find one of these sharks in the wild, they can be found off the coast of South Africa and are likely hiding in a rocky area. Thanks for taking the time to journey under the sea with us and check out these awesome species of sharks. Which one of these sharks was your favorite? Tell us in the comments. For more information about the incredible things located in our oceans, make sure to subscribe to The Hub. Bye for now.